Hello everyone and Happy New Year's to you all. I am here at Levigood Park in Dearborn because 10 years ago from this day, back in January of 2008, an ex-siren enthusiast was here filming a siren over there, which actually was a different model than what's behind me right now. It was sounding off for a snow emergency. It was the very first time I've ever seen a siren sound off in high-low signal or a wheeling of that particular model that I didn't know it could make a signal like that, which I thought was kind of creepy, but at the same time it was pretty awesome. I'd like to say that this is, uh, ever since I first saw that siren video, I never knew about this place. So, I love a good park. I, um, when I saw the movie, I was anxious to want to find this place in person, and I eventually did. And when I came here, it still had the old wheel in. And then, um, I was able to take some photos of it, and, uh, I fell in love with this place because this is a huge park. It's got great, it's got a nice track to run on, and, uh, it's got nice playground equipment and swings. And, of course, my favorite of all is the siren. That's, of course, my favorite part. It's obvious. But, um, back then, um, I was, in, I was kind of in love with that video. Uh, the user of that, that video, his name is Mike. His YouTube account was called Mackinac Mac. But, uh, he hasn't been, uh, on YouTube recently. And he, I guess he kind of, I guess he kind of just doesn't want to be socialized or maybe he's just too busy or something but uh mike uh <laughs> mike came here when it was a snow emergency and he f i'm glad he managed to film a siren sounding off in high low signal up close because unfortunately that's, that's the only siren in dearborn that he captured that was sounding off um in that signal but uh today is just 10 years since it's happened and uh, when I first saw the Wheelin, I, I loved it. I took some photos of it, and uh, I just ran around the track while I was there, and I really enjoyed it. When I found out it was going to be replaced, it was already too late because West Shore Service already uninstalled it when I, before I even had a chance to come here to witness it. Because when Mike told me that it was replaced, I came here and saw that there was a new... 2001 right over there and uh, that 2001 is the new it's been there ever since and uh, Dearborn had some had at least 12 of them installed for the first time in 2008 replacing all the old Wheelands but back then not all the Wheelands were removed it was just the ones that the, the, the these replaced but then a couple years later Dearborn needed to install more because uh, there are residents complaining that the new sirens were not loud enough. But that's because all the old sirens that Dearborn had, they had 24 of them. 24 wheeling omnidirectional sirens. And people were able to hear them inside their houses. Which, you know, is a bonus, but they're called outdoor warning sirens. So... The, the main purpose to be heard when you're outside, not inside. That's pretty much what the residents have been wanting to know about. Or wanting to expect anyways. But, um... Uh... This is my favorite place to visit in Dearborn because... It all started off with that video ten years ago. From where I'm at. And where he filmed was a little bit... It was a little bit closer than me. I can't really, I couldn't really get any closer because I wouldn't be able to capture the siren on camera and myself. So, uh, um, but I'm glad, uh, everything else here is pretty much all the same except the siren. And behind the bathhouse, there used to be some pot machines there. But the pot machines are, they've been removed for quite a long time. I don't know when, but um, 
I, st I still love this place. I don't come here as much, but I do, when the weather's better out, right now it's freezing cold. You can see I'm kind of looking like a, a burglar or an Eskimo, but, <laughs> but, uh, um, what else do I want to say? Uh, I think, uh, there were times when I came here and filmed the siren sounding off for a snow emergency due to it advertising on the on the internet, and uh, um, I was glad I was able to capture them. Although, despite the fact it was nightfall and it was hard to see, but there was a little bit of a light glooming on the siren, so I'm sure most of you were able to see it all right. But. Uh, when Mike recorded the Wheelin, it was it was early dawn, which was 8 a.m. in the morning on this day, but 10 years ago. And of course, it was a little bit more, let's just say, darker out. And it was I don't know if it was still snowing, but I do remember on New Year's night of that night, it was definitely snowing. When it turns 2017 to 2008 or 2007 to 2008. Um, it was definitely snowing that night, and I remember it very well. And uh, I just, I just have so many memories of Dearborn and their sirens, mainly because of what was here. And even to this day, even though it's not as the same as it used to be, I'm still, I still like to just daydream about them. Um, but you know. Dearborn has a lot more fascinating things than just sirens. They have nice looking houses, they got great attractions, they got the Henry Ford Museum, although I haven't really been there, but I'll have to check it out someday. They got Greenfield Village, and it's, uh, Dearborn's a nice place. I love it. I don't plan on moving here, but, uh, it's a great place to visit. And, uh, Another video he made was the, another video Matt, Mike made that had the wheeling sounding off and whoop signal was actually at Dearborn Whitner, Whitmore Bowles Elementary School. And that one is, uh, that one was removed a couple years after 2008 because uh, the siren that was placed there, the replacement, was part of the filler gaps of where the areas were not getting the sound coverage needed for for the current system and uh, that one there uh, for some reason I don't know if Wheelan 2700 series the most amount of speaker driver or speaker cell that they made were six cells but that one was a six cell the one right here was a five cell um, I'm not sure if six cell was the most amount of speakers that was produ produced for the Wheelan 2700 series but as far as I know that was the most I've ever seen but Dearborn did have a few of those, but most of them were 2,750s, which are the five cells. Some of them were fours, but most of them were fives, and I think there was like maybe three or four of them that were six cells. But uh, other than that, I love the... Oh, another thing I want to mention, if you can hear that rumbling sound, there are airplanes that fly by here because pretty close to Levick Park, or actually it's about maybe three and a half miles from here. I'm just guessing anyways. Three and a half miles towards that way is Detroit Metropolitan Airport. And with me being such an airplane fanatic and being in love with airplanes, this is an excellent, excellent location to watch airplanes. And it's a big open field. It, it's such amazing. This, you, you would love this place, definitely. Although, if, if it wasn't for the siren, I don't think I would have really cared about he, this place but uh, that's what pretty much got me to come in here and I'm just so thankful that you know they decided to have, a, the, have the, the new siren installed here because this seems like a pretty good place to have a siren even though <laughs> can't imagine having kids here playing when that thing's sounding off that had to really scare them but uh, other than that I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a, a six, 360 degree view of the place Bear with me. Alright, oops. Sorry, my 
I can't find a correct screw for my tripod, but uh, this is facing towards the southeast, or kind of sort of southeast. And we just go down this way. Got some swings here. Playground equipment over there. These are all trees. There's a nice playground equipment right here. I'm sure this was also shown in Mike's video as well. But he was standing kind of closer. Uh, kind of where I got my foot tracks right over here. I'm standing in snow right now, but it was kind of somewhere right around here. And uh, he kind of did a shot up like that at the wheel end that was there. And uh, that's the bathhouse over there. But uh, uh, there's a parking lot right there where you can park. And there were snow plows in the video as well. So, <laughs> but uh, over there you can't really see it. Uh, it's hard. Let me try and zoom in. In right over there is Divine Church, or a Catholic Church. I think it's called Divine Child. It's a it's a Catholic Church. I've never been there, but it's uh, I did remember filming the church bells that were there. They sound very nice. That's a big, big baseball field with four diamonds. It's a really big park. And you can't really see it, but um, over there... Give me a sec. Uh, right over there is where they have the swimming pool at. And... Uh, yeah, and there's some basketball courts somewhere out there, but uh, it's a great place. If you live anywhere near this area and you love going to parks, this is a great place. And uh, the neighborhood is good too. It's got really nice houses. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I should need to explain. That's all I should say, but I want to. I want to um, say Happy New Year's to you all, and thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for another video I'm going to make in, in a couple days from now.